Today I show you how to connect to your home network from your Android phone from anywhere in the world. You can be anywhere in the world and you connect from your Android phone to your home router box like you were at home. I use the OpenVPN app for this and the first part of the configuration you have to do it on the router. On the router you have to enable the OpenVPN server and then you download the configuration file. I will show you now. To log in to your router you go to the IP address of your router, usually it's dot one at the end, 192.168.1.7.1 is in my case, but for you it might be dot one dot one or dot zero dot one. You log into your router and this for different routers, this might be different. This is the Asus Merlin software. This is an Asus Asus router, RTN66U, which is a bit old, I actually have to update it on your router settings, if it's ASUS or whatever any other router it is, you have to find VPN settings. Under VPN settings, for different routers, everything might be completely different. But if your router supports having a VPN server, you will see VPN server somewhere. And you see that this open VPN server is running. From ASUS Merlin, I have the settings for server 2. And on the general tab here, I tap export. And this will download the VPN file. It's important to save this file because this has the configuration that you need for your router. It will not be downloaded securely because it's local network. And you finish with the router. Then you go, you open your open VPN app. This is the open VPN app and there are not many settings. I don't really use any, any settings, any special settings. Tap on the plus icon here. You can choose to download the VPN configuration file or you can set this, you can upload the OVPN file and browse to the, the file you downloaded earlier. So I have here the, I have here client to open VPN. I want to import it. You can change the profile name, but the host name has to be accessible from the outside. So it has to be the public IP of your router or a DNS name. I have a DNS name and I hope I remember to mask the DNS name here. But you can have either the IP of your home router, the public IP, you go to whatsmyip.com and see your public IP or a DNS name. This is only if you really know that you really want to have a VPN server because you don't want to open your network to the outside like this. So if you do this, you do this at your own risk. In case something happens and there's security problems, it's really at your own risk, especially you have to update your router. I don't, I didn't update, I can't update my router now because it's not supported anymore. So I have to find a new router actually. So I have here the host name. Once you have the profile there, you press connect. When you are connected, all the settings you have depend on the VPN server you have configured before, open VPN. And if you need to change any of those settings, you have to change them on the, on the router, on the internet box save the file again and import the file again you have to do that do it like that because it's uh, you can't change the settings from the client the client and the server have to agree with each other on the settings to allow you to connect. you have your private ip which is your device ip on the vpn on the local network also you see the server public ip which i hope i will remember to blur here and the server dns if you have a dns i have both dns and ip and i suggest you choose a non-standard port for vpn i have a non-standard port hope i blur this also and the vpn protocol tcp on android phones you cannot have the better version for vpn which is in this case tap TAP, this tab or TAP, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's on a lower network level. So everything is really like you're there on the local network. The tab is more secure, I believe, and it's on a lower network level. So all the traffic through the network goes to the VPN. So nothing goes outside through the, the default wireless or mobile data. Everything goes to the VPN on a low network level but it's how it works. It really works as a VPN. You can be connected to your local VPN and connect to a computer, use a remote desktop to a computer or connect to a network share, just like you are at home. This is how you use the open VPN. Now I have the Wi-Fi and the VPN enabled, but actually I'm connected to the same network. So if I wanted to really 
try the VPN, I would have to disable the Wi-Fi to be on 5G only. And now I'm connected with the VPN. You know you're connected to the VPN when you have this key here. So now I'm mobile, I'm on 4G. Now I'm on 5G with the VPN connected to the home network. I am like at home and I can browse. I can see this is my website. You can browse here, the pages are loading. I can go to the website and browse, find some other page to load. Then you see, you should see here some updates. Maybe it's not exactly in real time, but this is how it works. While you have this key here, you are connected to the VPN. When you're finished and you don't want to use the VPN anymore, this key here is still there. You might use the quick settings, but it depends if you actually have the open VPN in the quick settings. But you can also go into the settings app and network and internet, connect to the VPN and you see this one is connected. Tap on open VPN, disconnect and it's disconnected now. You could have also went to the open VPN app and disconnect from there. It's really easy to check if you're connected to the VPN by looking here. In some places the VPN might not work, especially if you're connected to a Wi-Fi and the, the VPN might not work. and you can also re-enable, because I disabled the Wi-Fi earlier, but it's always a good idea to have the Wi-Fi always connected. Most of the time you will use the VPN when you need to connect to your home network and you want to do it in a secure way, especially when you're outside connected to a public network or even on the mobile data. On the mobile data like this, you connect from, from the mobile data from 5G directly to your home network like you were at home. Let me know if you have any questions about connecting to your home network with the OpenVPN or other routers. Microtik has, Microtik has a nice app for connecting to the home. I think home something, I can't remember the name. And uh, OpenVRT also has really lots of options. And Asus also, with the Asus, Asus Merlin also really has uh, pretty good options. I, will, I might try Microtik or Open VRT. I'm not sure. I think Open VRT is more user friendly. Thanks for watching.